This is part two of a tutorial where I'm going to show to how to create a procedural mountain. In part one, we created the geometry by simply using a texture deformer on a highly subdivided plane. And as texture, we used a circular ramp and a fractal on top of that. Now we want to give it some color. And I have some materials prepared, so I can go to existing material rock and got some kind of rocky thing going on for the mountains. Down here I want some grass, so if I select it and go into here and select the grass, I also have a grassy surface. But I wanted to switch between the two and I could paint it, the, 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 the switch between the two, but I want to do it procedurally. I basically want to go where the uh, mountains start, where the, it gets off the ground. I want it to turn rocky. So I can do that based on the world Y, make the switch between the two shaders. So how am I going to do that? Well, first I'm going to go into rendering and assign it a surface shader, which is completely black. Then in that surface shader, in the out color, I'll put a utility that is a blend colors. That makes it perfectly purple or blends between red and purple. Now if in that into that blender I put another utility and that utility is called sampler info. There it is. What do I want to use for the blender? Well I want to use the point world Y into the blender. And we basically get what we want. Red should be the rock, and blue should be the grass. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to find my shader. Of course, in my rendering, I can hit the shader button. And we've got the blender, so the red should be the rock. So I want to get an existing material into here, but I cannot get existing materials from here. So now I need to go into my hypershade. So make sure that the material I have is called just mountain material. And I go into my hypershade and I find my mountain material and graph it. There we go. Let's see if we can give it a little bit more space. So we've got our surface shader, the mount material goes in it, and there's a blend colors, and that's driven by the world Y, how it blends. Now we want into the colors, we want one of these materials. I want the blend rock into the one. So with my blend color selected, I'm going to get my blend rock and just drag it over to color one and then get my fong grass I've got over here and drag that over to color 2. If we then again graph our network, it looks a lot more complicated because now our blind rock and fong grass are, I'm just minimizing them so I can get them clear on the list here. So I blend rock and fong grass are going into my blend colors, blending based upon world Y, into my mountain material, and that goes into a surface shader. So if we look at that, let's minimize this, it doesn't look quite right. We get the grass, we get some mountains, but then it turns all red. What is happening is it blends fine with the blue and the red, but now it starts, the blend value actually goes from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, way up. So in here it's blending with a value, blender value of like 10. And it's over blending it and pushing it into all weird colors. So what we need to do is actually limit the Y 
to be between 0 and 1. We can do that easily. We can get our hypershade back up and we can't use the y straight but we can use a utility that is called remap value and Maya always likes to put the things you create like way out there there's my remap value let's get it in between so we want the y, world y to go into the input value and then the output value to go into the blender this remap value doesn't do anything yet because it's just blending from zero for the input 0 to 1 and it's outputting 0 to 1 let's keep this one selected let's minimize this and now it looks perfectly okay and it also renders perfectly okay bam there's no lights in it yet but the rock is going a bit too far down I want a bit more grass up now well that's easy now now we've got the remap value you can say maybe in my input and output ranges maybe the grass should go all the way up to like 2 and maybe it should start at 0.5 so we can mess with where it starts we can also make it interpret smoothly between them so we get a sharper range spline get different with that but it nicely switches now between grass and mountain we could do another one and put a some snow on top of the mountain based on both y and the way the normal if the normal is pointing up put more snow there but you get the idea these are all procedural textures based on y switching between grass and mountain and we already get something that looks like this now in part three we're actually not going to be use this grass texture we're going to put some sand here and then put some actual grass on it of course it looks way better if we render in mental ray there we go and if we subdivide it and put a light in ooh that's starting to look like something and of course we want to put a sky in and everything but that's for part four if I get to make that one part three will be putting extra glass on grass on not glass